Chocolate truffles. The very name brings a smile to my face. I'm going to show you how easy they are to make. You need a cup of thickened cream and 200 grams of chocolate. That's it. If you want to add some liqueur, I've got some Chambord, which gives a beautiful little flavour, but it's a total optional extra. I'm going to add my cup of cream to a pan that I've just popped on the stove. You want to warm this. You want it to get just to boiling point, but you don't want to boil it. And that's actually a really important part um, of this recipe. Don't boil your cream, because if you do boil the cream, you're going to change the consistency of it. And you don't want to do that when you're making truffles. Now, I'm going to be a little naughty and add some Chambord, just a little, just to flavour that cream. It's a beautiful blackberry sort of a flavour. And you can use anything. You can use Cointreau, a great orange liqueur. You could do a little rum. You know, whatever sort of flavours you, you're into. So you see, as the bubbles sort of just start to, to form, that's good enough for me. So take that off. Don't forget, you're going to have a little residual heat in the pan, so that's going to that's keep working its magic. Take your 200 grams of chocolate. Now, I'm using little buttons. If you don't have buttons, then you can uh, chop the chocolate, and that's fine, uh, but just make sure you cut it quite small because you want this to happen. You want that beautiful melt to start taking place almost instantly. Okay, once this sort of comes together into this beautiful sort of chocolate sauce-like consistency, you want to get it out of the pan because, like I said, there's still a bit of residual heat in there and you don't want that. So I've just got a little plastic container. You can use any sort of glass container as well. You can just pour that straight into your dish. You take this, pop it in the fridge. It's going to take a couple of hours to set and then you're ready to make your chocolate truffles. Pull it out the next day. Make sure you've got one of these little guys standing by. It's a Parisian scoop or a melon baller. I've just got it in a little hot water. And then what you do is you just go straight into that chocolate. Take out a nice scoop and then bang it into a tray just like that. It's really simple. If you want to work quicker, have two of these guys standing by because whilst one is um, getting nice and hot, the other one is in use. Now, if there's a trick to making these, it's to work quickly. So get your melon baller into the chocolate, twist it out, and then get it out of there as fast as you possibly can. That way, the chocolate won't have time to warm up and become sticky. Okay, my truffles have had about 15, 20 minutes in the fridge. You can see they've kind of set back up, which is what you want. Now, I'm going to put some gloves on because this can get a little messy. The first thing you do is pick up a truffle, like that, and just gently roll it in between your hands so you get it nice and round. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then you basically just roll it around in the cocoa that I've pre-sifted, and then you sort of pick it up and pop it onto a plate. Again, you just take your truffle, two hands, give it a quick roll, through the cocoa, and out. Now, I think these truffles are just beautiful, served just as they are. They store in an airtight container in the refrigerator. If you want to give them as a gift, you can find some cute little um, paper serving vessels like that. You can put them into a little box. They're great to take as a little hostess gift. Um, you know, there's so many different ideas right here. So if you want to think of other edible gifts, just have a look around.